Hey everyone, in this series of tutorials, I'm gonna show you how you can create a specific look using DaVinci Resolve. And so each video in this series of tutorials is gonna walk you through step by step and really node by node what I had to do in DaVinci Resolve to create the final look of my image. The look that I've chosen to show you how to recreate is from the music video Bird by Gully. Now, if you've seen the music video, you know that the video sort of has three different looks. There's the woods look that's a bit more natural and warmer. Then there's the spaceship look that sort of has a heavy saturation and a lot of blue. And then finally, sort of have the studio or nightclub look with, you know, sort of a minimal black background with a lot of emphasis placed on the singer. So the look that I'm going to be showing you how to recreate from that video today is what I'll kind of call the woods look. And just to give you a sense of where we're going, the basic breakdown of how these tutorial videos work is that each video sort of covers a separate node. So each video is gonna walk you through what I do in each individual node to create this final look. So let's get started by setting up our project in DaVinci Resolve. So I'm in Resolve and I've brought in the clip that I'm gonna use for this exercise, but I haven't set up any of my project settings. So to do that, we'll go down to the gear icon and click on that and I'm going to click on Master Project Settings. And the first thing that I'm going to need to change for this project is my timeline resolution. So if you've seen the Bird by Gully music video, you know that the resolution is not 1920 by 1080, and that it's actually cropped to a 2.35 aspect ratio. So the first thing I need to do is change my timeline resolution to match what I want my final output to be. And so I'm going to click on this drop-down menu and go into Customized Size. And I want my size to be 1280 by 545. Next thing I need to do is I'm actually going to be working in ACES color space. And if you want any more information about ACES color space, I have a tutorial on that that goes more in depth that you can take a look at. So for this project, I'm going to switch to DaVinci ACES. And when I do that, I also need to go into the lookup tables and I need to switch my input device transform to Cinema DNG, since this footage was recorded in Cinema DNG and I need that to match. And for my output device transform, I'm gonna to go to Rec 709. And the other thing that I need to do is in my image scaling, I need to change this input scaling preset and I need to change it to center crop with no resizing. And once I've done that, I can hit apply. And you'll see it adjusts my image. And now that I have my project file set up, the next step is to add my first node. And in my first node, that's where I'm gonna do my primary color correction. And I'm also going to resize my image so that it matches my new aspect ratio and resolution. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do in the next tutorial.